Hey everyone, this is Dr. Z, PhD Natural Me, and welcome back to my channel. I am getting over a cold, so my voice is not its normal yet, but it's getting there. I'm feeling much better than I was uh, last week. And since I stayed in the bed most of the time, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and came across some confusing information related to keto. There's a couple of people that I, I do watch and now I think I'll watch them kind of like I take with a grain of salt because they're what they once followed now they're changing up or they're just making keto harder than it is. When I first started keto, I, I I did a lot of the research myself and I became a little bit confused until I kind of came up with my own guidelines to keep me on track, which I lost 45 pounds doing so. And I am now 8.2 pounds lighter and it's working for me. I heard, you know, you eat just all meat, don't count your vegetables, they don't count. But for me, if I don't count vegetables, my weight doesn't change. And sometimes it actually goes up because it's well more than my 20 total grams of carbohydrates that I consume. If I slip up and have more than that intentionally okay but not to do it consistently because it doesn't work for me that way with keto i eat when i'm hungry i stop when i'm satisfied i drink when i'm thirsty i eat a total of 20 grams of carbohydrate per day and i take the 20 and divide it up into two or three meals so five to seven grams of carbohydrates per meal so that I'm not having or ingesting a huge amount of carbohydrates the meats that I eat are fatty and that works for me I also heard no coffee <laughs> I am a big time coffee drinker. I love my coffee. And for me, it works. Will I cut it out? Probably not. Because it's a source of comfort. It keeps me to maintain my 20 grams of carbohydrates total per day going. And like I said, it just works for me. It may not work for you, and that's fine. But I just wanted to come on and talk about that and how I got a little bit confused and decided to resort back to what I know that works. My five-finger guideline. So, how do things work for you? What do you follow to keep you on track with keto? Stay healthy, everyone, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.